is time for us to discuss the Hassan hairline saga. And you might be going, Hassan hairline saga? Well, yes, you see, Hassan got himself in a little bit of hot water, okay? All of us know Hassan Abi, the famous left-wing streamer, the biggest left-wing streamer in the world, who currently got himself in a little bit of hot water on Twitter. In fact, you might have seen him getting roasted all over Twitter. Um, and in fact, I gotta say, uh, he got hit uh, he got hit pretty hard, okay, uh, uh, in the uh, in the comments on Twitter. But you just have to remember. Well, actually, you know what? Let's just talk about it first, okay? Let's get let's get into it, okay? <laughs> let me just let me just grab this for you, okay? And I'll share you what basically happened, okay? Here we go. So yesterday. The situation got a little hairy. Yeah, some lines were drawn in the sand, so to say. So yesterday, this exchange happened. Hassan says, it's literally the same every time. People who want to kill themselves posting the pain away to try and get others to kill themselves. And then this user named Jack Sajweni, Jax, said, well, did it almost work? Or sorry, did it almost work? And then Hassan said, of course not. Also, I, rec I recommend minoxidil and finasteride for your hairline. I use them every day and it's done wonders for me. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, part of the reason now, there's, there's multiple ways that you could interpret this, okay? Personally, I think that that's a pretty funny uh, uh, sort of Twitter clapback, okay? Now, of course, it's added in a little bit of funny because of the fact that, um, that <laughs> Jax Adjweni uh, has this photo as her username, which, of course is appears to be presumably her face photoshopped onto the head of Mao Zedong. Um which is of course a, <laughs> a, a very funny image in and of itself. Um however a lot of people got very 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 mad at Hassan. And when I say very mad, I mean Hassan was actually Hassan was actually kind of getting clapped. Like as in this guy with a huge account. I mean, he was struggling. He got ratioed like eight times. And I was surprised by that because like to be completely honest, I didn't think that it was that like severe of a situation. Um, I thought that like him making fun of the hairline was just kind of funny, but basically what happened is a bunch of people said that he was being racist uh, because um, obviously because in our society, white people are really fucking weird about black women in particular, but black people's hair. I mean like, really fucking weird, okay? Um, ha Hassan got ratioed, that's possible? Yes, it is actually possible. He actually got ratioed um, quite a lot. Um, and, um, oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll get there, Puerto Rican musician. Um, it, it, it got, it got, uh, so, so, but like people were getting really mad about that. And I think there's something wor worth talking about there because I want to be like 100% clear in pointing out the fact that, um, yeah, white people are really, really, really weird about black people's hair. Um, to the degree that like, it's a, a, a very common, uh, commonly discussed experience. Um, to to have uh for, for black people to have white people walk up and say can i touch your hair just randomly random strangers be like can i touch your hair 
which is one of the weirdest fucking things you can ever say to anyone, let alone someone that you don't know. And I want, like, I'm, as you can tell by the tone of my skin, my skin color is white, okay? Uh, I, uh, 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 you know, that's, that's my skin color. Um, but I want to say something from my life experience, because I'm talking about the subject, which is my ex had uh, 4C, very curly hair. Um, uh, my ex uh, repeatedly told me about experiences she had had with people walking up to her and asking her if they could touch her hair, complete and utter strangers, just because she had the, the type of hair that is very curly and floofy, what is called 4C hair. Um, like, this was, this was my ex who told me these stories personally. So this isn't just like a thing you hear about on the internet. This was long before I was ever even on the internet in any meaningful way. This was way back when I was, you know, in college. Uh, 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 you know, I was with uh, that partner for a very long time and she told me this story multiple times. Some people do, yes, put the screw in the tuna said that a lot of people will touch it before they ask, which is an even a next level of derangement. That is so uh, 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 disgusting. It's so out of control. Um, it's it's hard to even believe that people are, are like willing to, to, I don't know, it's hard to believe there are people out here there who act like that. But of course, there are people who act like that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to be very clear and upfront about the fact that yeah, people actually are really, really, really weird about black people's hair. Um, but I want to talk about something else as well, okay? Which is um, <sighs> the actual exchange that happened here, okay? Hold on, let me just show you, okay? So, when Hassan said this stuff originally, okay, this is kind of what unfolded, all right? Here, let me show you. So, Hassan was roasting. Okay, so Hassan said, Amber Heard wearing her Let a Hundred, th hundred Flowers Blossom fit, and then posted a picture of, uh, uh, Hassan was reacting to this, and then Jaxa Jwenny said, can I say something nasty? And of course, and then Jack says, seconds before disaster. And then down here, it unfold, okay? And Hassan says, Lamau. Jax says, tell your dogs to get back before I do something crazy. And then people started roasting her a little bit. And because obviously, um, when you're talking shit on Twitter, and then you say, I'm gonna do something crazy, it does come off a little bit like you're being a keyboard warrior, okay? Um, this was definitely a little uh, uh, funny. And then, you know, yeah, well, I hate him. So there was definitely some hating going on from Jax here, okay? Like, there were a number of tweets to start off that said this, okay? But then, this is what happened, okay? So he says the line, they go back and forth here, okay? Here, let me show you real quick. So here's the Lamau. And then these are the other people, presumably fans, anti-fans of Hassan, who are saying, I can't fucking stand Hassan. He's in a track record of going after women and degrading their intellect. He's been extremely anti-black after a joke he made about Nicki Minaj about her being anti-vax and how the people on her side don't like her and think she should be at the back. Plus, really just do not like myself. Uh, my, my, and then, of course, this is another tweet that he posts. It says, really just do not like myself at all as a person. Like, I am a piece of shit. And Hassan says... It's literally the same every time. So he's poking fun, not even at Jax here, okay? So this seems to be somebody who's an anti-fan of Hassan, and he's roasting that. But then Jax comes back in here and says, did it almost work? About him saying that people are trying to get him to kill himself. And of course, people started jumping in on him, all right? 
and people were, uh, you know, roasting her. Now, of course, um, this is so that you guys can see the full context of the conflict because it gets more intense. Jack says, y'all have no clue what I'm about to do with this tweet, okay? Now, to be fair, credit to Jax here, big credit to Jax here, Jax actually ratioed the shit out of Hassan. And then Jax says, y'all have no clue what I'm about to do with this tweet, at which point Jax did indeed completely and utterly Twitter ratio Hassan. Like, not even, not like obliterated, okay? Hassan, this is a 25,000 like tweet. Hassan's reply here only got 5,000. Just obliterated, okay? And then Hassan re replies, you're going to make, you're going to make a hit TikTok saying I'm engaging in misogyny war coming after a black woman online. It will go viral. I compared an Amber Heard outfit. You asked me if I'd kill myself over it and I haven't, and, and then you haven't stopped posting since. I gave back a fraction of that energy and you went insane. Okay. And of course, still ratioed. He did not succeed in outliving the ratio. Okay. And from there, not much actually happened, okay? Hassan apparently blocked Jax. And then Jax says, uh, and then Hassan says, if you want to come on my stream and talk about it, we can have a debate. And then Jax says, the brothel or you, a self-claimed feminist, and your insufferable echo chamber and my army of middle schoolers who learn about leftist theory. Uh, oh, your, your insufferable echo chamber and army of middle schoolers who learn about leftist theory through Twitch. And then he says, we can talk about all of it. There were some mischaracterizations, but I think it could be productive as long as we're all being charitable. Now, that's like what actually was discussed here, okay? That's like, that's like, um, that's all that actually happened, really, between them. There was basically nothing else that happened between them, okay? However, in the comments, people were going fucking insane, okay? And I mean, like, my god. <laughs> people were going deranged, okay? Um... People were, uh, were, 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 were saying that he was sicking his fans on her. People were saying he's trying to ambush her. People were saying he was being racist. People said that he was being misogynist. Um, it's, it's a lot, okay? There were a lot of people talking about all of this. Um... Why should anybody be charitable to a misogynist? Uh, uh... <laughs> People posting weird, deranged things about how he's, um... How, uh, he's going to die alone? Um... Saying that he was, uh, going after black women as a whole? Um... I'm just gonna say a lot of people went really, really far about all of this. Now, I think perhaps this may have been a moment of Twitter being just a little bit crazy, okay? Just being just, just a tiny bit off the chain, okay? Just a tiny bit deranged. And I wanna point out something because I think this is fair that despite the fact that, um, uh, uh, you know, Jax is not a small account on Twitter. I should point that out. On Twitter, Jax has nearly 300,000 followers. Now, obviously, Hassan is a, is a much bigger account, but that is not a, that's not a small account, okay? Having 300,000 followers on Twitter uh, is not a tiny account, okay? So just first, first point, thing to point out. And secondly, I want to point out one other thing, okay? Which is that... Where is it here? 
It's here somewhere. Oh no, is it deleted? No! Did she delete it? Literally, like, minutes afterwards, even though she was roasting the hell out of him and, and bantering really hard, she literally just said, I don't actually care about this. I'm just insulting the man. I just think he's annoying. So while her fa- well, I don't know about of her fans, but uh, while people who hate Hassan were going d d deranged in the comments, okay? She was just like, I don't actually care. Uh, he was just being an asshole and I think he's a bad feminist and that's about it. Meanwhile, in the comments, people are being like, oh, racism, all this stuff like that. Like the the person who was the, at the center of the beef with Hassan didn't even care that much. And of course, now, let me point out one other thing. We patch things up in the DMs. I'll have Jax on the stream at a later date. I'm not super familiar with her content, but it seems that we agree on a lot more than we previously thought. Now, a lot of people down here were basically uh, 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 going like, oh, you're backpedaling, you're backpedaling, you're backpedaling, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But um, seems pretty straightforward that this wasn't a particularly serious conflict. And I wanna point something else out about this whole Hassan situation, which is that, okay, first of all, I don't think that just like in a vacuum, insulting someone's hairline is in and of itself racist or anti-black. I just, I don't think that it is. Um, personally. And I recognize that, that people are indeed very fucking weird about, uh, about people's hair. And I do think that it's a little bit of a low blow to insult someone's hairline out of the blue, but it's not, in my opinion, out of the realm of banter, right? And there's a whole lot of other things that would have been. But apparently also, Jax doesn't seem to think it was that far out of the line of banter either. Uh, uh, Jax was insulting Hassan a little bit. Hassan insulted Jax. Now, admittedly, Hassan was the first one to break out the block button. But at the same time, can you really blame somebody for wanting to block people who they think might be a, 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 a hater? Like, uh, I, I just, I don't think it's that big of a deal. However, of course, the Twitter populace at large did indeed think, seem to think that this was a big deal. And it got to the point that I actually saw pretty major, like, other big YouTubers commenting on this as though Hassan had done something racist or anti-black in that particular moment, when even the person that he was arguing with didn't seem to think that that was the problem. Only a basically uh, 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 unaccountable swarm of unknown Twitter accounts. Now this might start sounding a little familiar to other things that I've said about the way that Twitter works, right? And I also want to point something out which is that despite the fact that multiple people uh, invoked the uh, idea that Hassan's attack dogs were going to destroy this person, uh, the only group of people who actually, like the, the winners of the dog pile were not Hassan's followers. The winners of the dog pile was, was uh, anti-Hassan people. Anti-Hassan people won the dog pile in that particular situation. And what all of this is supposed to say, of course, is that Twitter is an insane, uh, it's, it's, it is a, uh, an unintentional insane asylum, okay? That people them lock themselves into, okay? None of it matters. None of the numbers matter. 
uh, especially now, especially these days, uh, the behavior on Twitter, like when I say it doesn't matter, I don't mean that like nobody gets hurt because obviously people do actually get hurt from stuff that happens on Twitter. People get doxxed on Twitter. But what I mean is that with regard to the truth, with regard to being able to, to discern uh, any meaningful message or any meaningful social conclusion from Twitter, None of it matters. It is a deranged mess of unknown uh, uh, factions that are loosely interested in topics that aren't actually socially connected in any meaningful way. And I, <coughs> excuse me. I want to be clear about that because obviously I do think that terrible things do happen on Twitter, that misinformation is propagated on Twitter, and uh, that uh, uh, um, and that Twitter is used. Uh, to do harm to people in certain circumstances. This, of course, was not one of those circumstances. Nobody at all was harmed, even a little bit, by this situation. It's just hilarious and deranged that uh, uh, there's there's a back and forth, a, a, a sort of insult fight between two uh, content creators, and then some people in the comments try to turn it into like a moral situation of like moral scolding where uh insulting someone's hairline is a uh, a silver bullet a smoking gun that proves that hassan at last is a misogynist and anti-black and all of that is nothing but noise nothing but deranged noise no one actually None of this actually advances any sort of dialogue. What actual, and I want to point another point out, which is the only actual advancement of dialogue that occurred was when Hassan and Jax connected, DM'd each other, and had an actual person-to-person -person conversation. Notice that all of the ratios, all of the quote tweets, all none of it mattered even a little bit. The only actual progress that was made in any direction in any meaningful, uh, you know, uh, substantial direction was when Hassan and Jax decided to DM each other and solve it out like people. It is, Twitter is a broken nightmare mess. And I have to say, I do think it's incredibly, incredibly funny to me. Um... <laughs> that so many people, so many individual users got so worked up over this back and forth that they believed that they were engaging in some sort of moral struggle, in some sort of battle for the future of the discussion of race, uh, for the future of the discussion of feminism. And I can't help but think back to other situations that went way less well. Uh, both of these people involved in this, Jax and Hassan, have pretty large followings on Twitter. Really, really big. But as we know, um, we've seen situations where this type of um, deranged overstatement of harm, this sort of weird rubbernecking that turns into a dog turns into dog piling has gone really bad for people. Um, and I just wanted people to, I don't know, I just can't help but remember the times in which uh, what starts as basically like a, a back and forth insult or even a conversation between two people uh, turns into people like doxing each other, you know? And this is part of the reason, by the way, does anybody in my community remember our code that we used to have for Twitter? Anybody remember the imps code? Cause I do. I remember the imps code. The imps code, the rule number one of the imps code, immediately stop discoursing. This has been a rule in my community for almost three years. Not a rule, a guide. A, a set of, it, it's a code of, it's a, 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 a code for practicing better online behavior. And the first one is immediately stop discoursing because this is all that happens. Now in this situation, like I said, it didn't, nobody got hurt. 
There was no, uh, Hassan didn't actually get canceled. Obviously, uh, the title was a bit of a joke. Um, nobody got hurt. No one was actually doxxed or anything along those lines. Uh, but a bunch of people got really angry. I'm sure that in the comments, a bunch of people got super pissed at each other and ruined each other's moods. A bunch of people uh, got really up on their high horse. And none of it was about anything substantial at all. It wasn't about, there wasn't actually any substance. It was all imposition. It was, you're being racist for this, you're being whatever for this, you're going after this. It is all just parasocial flailing. That is discourse on Twitter. And it's hilarious as hell, but also somewhat sad. This is what happened when a Yo Mama joke goes too far. Fucking true!